Hello, and welcome to our video on scaling up your food product. Scaling up production is a key step in product development. It makes good business sense to prove your concept before you make a major investment. The biggest lesson we have learned from scale up trials is expect the unexpected. As the volume of your production run gets bigger, you may experience issues that you didn't have at the bench top level. One major step to prepare for scale up production is creating a product specification sheet with targets based on bench top work. These specifications will differ depending on the product. Some variability is normal and it is important to find out how much of a difference is too much. For example, consider a beverage product. You might have chemical specifications such as pH and bricks. These are both important parameters for your beverage and can affect quality, safety, and taste. Physical properties might include color or viscosity. Biological properties would include microbial limits such as yeast and molds, total aerobic bacteria, and other organisms of concern. Of course, taste should also be consistent. Depending on your product, there will be a range for each item and any work you can do up front to set an acceptable range will be helpful later. Mixing or blending your product at a larger scale can often create surprises. Proper mixing is critical for your product. You may see differences in the way your ingredients mix together, potential for clumping or foaming, change in viscosity from what you expected, time and temperatures required for mixing. Typically, at a larger scale in your facility or at your co-packers, liquids that are going into your product will be transferred through pipes. If there are any ingredients that are not well mixed or particulates that are falling out of suspension, this can be a problem. Also, if the viscosity of your product is different from what you expected, you may need to go back and change your process or adjust your ingredients. Heat treatment of your product, whether it's pasteurization or sterilization can cause issues such as flavor, texture, or color changes, as well as nutritional losses. Be sure to simulate commercial heat treatment on a small scale before you go to scale up. Packaging is also a critical part of your scale up. In addition to protecting your product, it has a significant impact on maintaining shelf life. It also provides space for your label which educates your consumers about your products. Your labels need to balance marketing creativity and Canadian labeling regulations. Check out our other video, a mandatory labeling requirements in Canada for more info. When you manufacture food at a large scale, you may also have production losses. For example, sometimes the first and last part of your batch will need to be discarded. Ideally, you may be able to find another use for this material or rework it into production. During scale up, be prepared that your losses might be greater than expected as you are testing the new product and or equipment. This amount will decrease as you get into larger batch sizes. All of it is worth it in the end when you see and hold that final product in your hands. Now you are ready to get it to your potential customers for feedback and do some final adjustments before your launch date. Scale up trial samples are great prototype examples for evaluating shelf life before your big launch. Check out our other video on shelf life testing at Perennia for more info. To learn more about developing or scaling up your food product, get in touch with Perennia. Our team would love to help you bring your idea to market. Visit our website to see our fact sheets, videos, and more on a variety of topics such as shelf life testing, food additives, sustainable packaging, and many more. This footage was taken at Spa Springs Mineral Water in Middleton, Nova Scotia. Spa Springs co-packs carbonated and still beverages for a variety of customers in glass or cans.